I'm Joshua Clement with Lighty Contractors, and today I'm going to show you how to properly remove and replace carpet trim. For this job, you're going to need a couple tools. A flat bar. This allows you to get underneath the old trim and pop it up. And a hammer. Take in your flat bar, place it underneath the carpet trim, directly underneath the nails. Now, take and press down, removing the nails. Now, noticing I'm putting my hand over the nail, that way when I press down, it doesn't pop up and hit you in the face. I'm going to do that right along the entire thing. And here's our old carpet trim. Now, we're going to use this for a reference to our length. So we're going to take this, mark our new carpet trim, cut it to the same length because we had a nice fit. Or if you don't have a nice fit or widening your door, go ahead and take a tape measure and measure the length. So when putting in the new carpet trim, put it in place. Take your nails. You want to make sure that you use the spiraled nails. These don't back out as easy, so you don't catch your foot and cut it wide open on the carpet trim. You want to start on one side or the other, that way you can make sure it's nice and flat and work it out from one side or the other. Now, you want to firmly press on the carpet trim, that way it doesn't shift on you and just get the nail started. Then, knock it into place. When you're knocking the nails into place, be sure that you don't drive them real far in because it'll create a divot in it and not look very good. So, take the nail, press down firmly, tap it into place, and drive it in. Now you want to run your hand across to make sure that the nails aren't sticking up too much. That way you, you again don't catch your foot on it. I'm Joshua Clement with Lighty Contractors and that is how you can properly remove and replace carpet trim.